Articles on injuries in the workplace. If you have been injured while at work you could be eligible for workers' compensation. However, there are a few circumstances that could affect your claim, and there are a few that could also lead to you filing a personal injury claim. There are specific places of work that require employers to follow certain claim procedures that have been set out by law. Take a look below for links to articles on injuries in the workplace for more information. Workplace Injury Compensation – Can you sue for more? Workers' compensation may not be the only type of compensation you can receive. If you were injured while at work you may have been told that you can only receive workplace injury compensation, however, this information may not be correct. Most workers will only ever receive this form of compensation but there are certain situations that may allow you to sue for damages, click on the article's title to read more. Health and Safety Laws in the Workplace The OSHA, the Federal Occupational Safety and Health Act, demands that employers provide safe and healthy working conditions for all of their employees. In addition to OSHA, there are states that have their own safety law that must be adhered to, in the workplace. Employers are obligated to comply with OSHA whilst also understanding whether they need to follow state or federal law, click on the article's title to read more. Workplace Injuries and Your Legal Rights If you have been injured in the workplace you will need to know how to file a compensation claim. Here is where we can help, giving you all the information you need. Employers all across America should ensure that their employees work in a safe environment. Occasionally employers fail to ensure that their team is safe, and this lack of duty can result in a workplace injury. However, accidents can still occur even in the safest workplaces, but the good news is that every single state can offer help to employees who have been injured at work, click on the article's title to read more. The Workplace and Repetitive Strain Injuries Employers should do what they can to help reduce incidences of repetitive strain injury in the workplace. Cases of repetitive stress injury and repetitive stress disorder are on the increase due to the sheer number of computers that are now used in the workplace. Repetitive stress disorders RSDs, also known as cumulative trauma disorders are responsible for approximately 60% of work-related injuries 12.5% of working Americans have been diagnosed with RSD at some point in their lives, which means if you employ 100 people, 12.5% of your employees will have been diagnosed with this condition. This is why it would be wise for you to make sure that you do what you can to prevent RSD from occurring, click on the article's title to read more. Is your illness or injury related to your job? If you are thinking of claiming workers' compensation, you will have to prove that your illness or injury was caused by your job. If you were undertaking a task that was required at your workplace, or as part of your job, and you fell ill or became injured, your illness or injury will be considered work-related. However, you will need to meet a few more requirements before you can claim workers' compensation, click on the article's title to read more. Are you eligible to make a carpal tunnel injury claim? Carpal tunnel syndrome affects up to 15 million people in the United States, and they could all be eligible to make a carpal tunnel injury claim. You might be working either at a computer, on an assembly line or undertaking many other jobs that involve many repetitive hand movements, and if so, you could be prone to a carpal tunnel injury. You may be forgiven that movements such as these could cause repetitive strain injury, but instead, they may be causing carpal tunnel syndrome. If you have ever felt your hands or fingers tingling, and slash or numbness or a sharp pain in the same area, you may be experiencing the very first symptoms associated with this syndrome, click on the article titles to read more. Construction Worker Injuries In addition to being eligible for workers' compensation, construction workers might be able to file a civil lawsuit for product liability or negligence. Construction workers frequently undertake highly dangerous jobs that involve working at height, using heavy machinery, equipment, and tools, working on scaffolding, or in trenches below ground. Even though you may be working in or with hazardous buildings and tools etc. you still have the legal right to be protected in your place of work. The construction site has to be safe, and every single member of the construction team should be protected from injuries and unnecessary risks. 
click on the article's title to read more. Can injured railroad workers claim for compensation? Injured railroad workers can claim for compensation under the Federal Employers Liability Act. Before workers' compensation came into effect in the United States, Congress felt the need to protect railroad workers who had been injured. The Federal Employers Liability Act which is also known as FELA helps railroad workers to claim compensation for injuries that they have sustained while they were at work, click on the article's title to read more. Asbestos, the workplace risk. It is an unsettling fact that almost 1.3 million people in the United States are exposed to asbestos in the workplace every single day. Health organizations have known about the link between asbestos and mesothelioma, for a long time, along with many other serious health issues caused by working in an asbestos-filled environment. However, many people are still unsure as to whether they could be affected by asbestos, and what steps can be taken to protect themselves from the conditions that it causes. Here is where we hope to provide you with a few answers, click on the article's title to read more.